Welcome back to the channel guys. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, uh, yeah, I've gone and done it again. This is another 2001 330CI, along with the other 2001 330CI that's, uh, I've had some videos on already. And of course we know our, my main 330CI, that, that one's a 2003. So this came up at a local auction. Uh, I ended up uh, winning the bid on that. Picked it up today. It's been kind of wet and soggy, so haven't been able to really get much done. Uh, being a public auction at a tow yard, this has no title and no key. But it's a 330CI and of the manual variety. So that was why I bought it. Had it been an automatic, I might not have uh, gone ahead and done this uh, project, but it is rough. Uh, this is actually originally uh, steel blue, uh, painted black. Uh, ran a Carfax on it. It has had, and I'll let you put your guesses in the comments. How many how many owners do you think this 2001 330CI has had? Well, if you guess seven, you're right. Uh, and a, a hard seven owners from the looks of it. This uh, used to be steel blue. It's now painted flat black. It also sports a salvage title. So you know this is a good one. Uh, and we got the M Sports is 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 is. Um, so I'm sure that's, you know, extra 30 horsey torques. Uh, Treehouse Racing. We got a fancy carbon fiber wing that uh, might need some adjustments. Maybe that's just the active aero part. I, I'm not sure. Uh, this was picked up on 10 6. Uh, it's currently March 9th. Uh, so this thing sat for a while. You see here, this is a toe sticker again from uh, 10 5, 10 6. So, looks like it was just abandoned. I mean, who knows if this thing runs? Uh, I have no key. First thing is really going to be getting the ignition cylinder out and uh, seeing if we can do a quick EWS delete and see if she starts. I mean, uh, mainly bought it just for parts. Uh, I'm going to park this one out. The last uh, recorded mileage was 244K. That was, uh, I don't know, two years ago. Originally, uh, like I said, the steel blue, dove gray interior, but I uh, was hoping this had black interior. I saw these seats, but they're just covers. They're actually a really nice shape, and I might put these in uh, in my 330 because they're, they're in really nice shape. The back seat looks in pretty good shape too. I'm not touching that towel without gloves. I really haven't even gone through the car yet. Uh, I don't like the headrest. That's the only downside. You, you know, if I take these seat covers, I'm gonna have these stupid headrests to match, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, had a stupid sport pedal cover on there. My son popped that off. He thought that was fun. Um, looks like he's got nav, which is pretty cool, but no auto headlights. Does have the sports package, so we got the sport wheel, uh, ZHP style shift knob. Uh, I don't know if that's. So I'm guessing it's not an actual one. Let's uh, pop the power bar in here. We can't get in the trunk because there's no power. I'm hopeful if I put some power to the jump point here, we can uh, pop the trunk. But should be the three liter, just like uh, the other two 330 CIs. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen one of those on there before. You can tell it's been sitting a while, all kinds of crap everywhere. Um, and I'm hopeful that this uh, this thing does run. Looks like someone's replaced a coolant hose. I'll have to get in here a little deeper and just kind of see the actual state of things. Uh, this intake boot you probably can't see is actually collapsed so i'm sure that's an aftermarket intake boot some piece of junk they shouldn't it should be round and it's it's oval it's really hard to, to see it here you see the style blau color code still has the factory cats on it so that'll be worth a couple bucks i i don't know what the uh rate is right now but two years ago i got 400 bucks for the ones off my 330 i think uh that's come down quite a bit so we might hold on to them until uh, that goes back up. They don't take up too much space. You can see it's, you know, she's pretty beat. That rocker cover is all messed up. 
but a decent set of style 68s some curb rash on a few of them let's see uh, inside the passenger side here yes oh no way no way <laughs> if this is the key that's gonna save a lot of time no way this has the key holy cow well that just saved me probably about an hour trying to drill that out and all that bullsh stuff uh yeah i was just sitting down here in the pocket i saw the sunglasses thought we'd take a quick look i'm not gonna get in on any of this paperwork i don't want to give away anybody's personal information uh you know i i don't judge people whatever happened that uh, caused them to be in this position no judgment um but yeah inside's decent looks like i think they rewrapped the uh the pillars oh well, yeah because there's foam in here you can see on the front they've got just put the screws through it so they did the they did at least the abc pillars i can't see what the, the way the light is right now if they did the headliner too but it looks like it matches so i mean that's kind of cool maybe we just transfer all that over to the silver car It'll save me a little bit of time having to redo um but carpet's gross you know seat back thing's broken i can't tell if it's over the old no it's not so this is actually they pulled the old seats uh seat covers off and put these over i wonder if these are l seat uh covers i'll have to take a look lc.com makes uh some decent covers for these things uh general consensus is they're better than the old tired stuff but not oem quality and you know for my my 330 that i primarily just saw across in i mean who cares um I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on getting the seats redone so anywho that's awesome that i found the key that is freaking fantastic so i'm uh i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can get some power uh i don't have a jump pack anymore so we're gonna have to probably just pull the silver car over and some jump leads up yeah let's go ahead and get the other car over here some jump leads and see if this thing uh comes to life all right so we got our uh jump set up let's see we got seatage <laughs> we got some power all right another set of bmw mats that's cool uh, stupid wheel cover let's see so this uh like i said the last carfax about two years ago had 244 you see this oil sticker up here 250 so it might not have really driven that far but let's see what we got lower works 245 815 so not a ton of miles in the last two years so yeah parking brake uh all the way at the top let's see what, uh, let's see will she crank i get a little closer a quarter tank of gas wow all right oh bad connection all right let's see if uh, we can get a little bit of ground and uh see if we can fire up so i just want to show a quick in the trunk everyone wants to know uh let's see our battery is swimming so that's good it's about half full we got the jack We've got some oil so you know she definitely leaks jumper cables that's a good sign and probably why we're not getting anything out of this battery so oh, that's nice we got another set of jumpers battery tray maybe a mirror i thought there's one in here nope no mirror so that broke off just needs to be glued back on some of these pants and shame baby socks and other things. What's in this bag? Oh, yay, more of the pedals and other various junks. We'll spill it out later. Oh, that's broken, so that's nice, but you don't really need it. Yeah, we do have the full size spare. It's been used, but no other real surprises there. So, all this water is probably 
coming from either a bad taillight seal or maybe this seal up here. But let me go ahead and uh, swap this battery out, see if we can get it to crank. All right, got spare battery that I've got uh, all hooked up. You see down there, the daylight, that's a drain hole that's in the bottom. Uh, you just reach from underneath, you can pop that out, drains this battery tray area out. That way with this battery, it doesn't need to be swimming. So we already have lights in here. So let's uh, give her a whirl, see if she'll crank. That did not just happen. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I guess, I don't know why I was thinking I still need to do an EWS delete. We have the key, so yeah, she's gonna start. How freaking, I can't believe this thing. That's still a pile, but it runs. Let's see, uh, we got our typical yellow low oil light on. That's the oil level sensor that we talked about before. Let's see, do we got any gears? Yeah, it goes in gear. Second, it's like super easy to get into. Yeah. It goes in all the gears. Let's see, does it go forward? I'm just gonna hold the brake and let her out. Yep. Clutch works. Let's do the same with the reverse. Yep. <laughs> I can't believe why was this parked? The brake pedal itself is really squishy. I mean we could have a uh, brake issue here. Well, that's a nice little that's a nice little radio. A little, uh, must be like an Enon or something like that. It's not the factory nav. But that's a nice little unit. Maybe we'll throw that in the other one. Of course, they just did the, the cheap way of shoving the HVAC controls down below. Let's uh, let go out on a limb here and do we have AC? I didn't hear it kick on. I heard it kick on. No way. This thing have functioning AC. Let's uh, get some more fan and shear. It sure seems like it. Well, you know what this means. It's running. We just need to move the old Tundra out of the way and let's take this thing for a ride. Let's see do our windows work. Driver side window works. Passenger works. Rear wing. And the other one works too. See how she sounds. Sounds like a M54 B30 to me. So. That's different. I've never seen that sunroof control. This uh, shade is not so great. I wonder if this was a slick top. Was it? Is this an aftermarket? I wonder if it was an aftermarket sunroof. No. Yeah, it is. That's it. Yeah, this is an aftermarket sunroof. So that's probably why it works. See this black ring that you don't have that on uh, the factory sunroof. That's why it switches different. What a weird car. See this, this is the actual sheet metal and this is your gasket. Well, that's an aftermarket sunroof. So what a weird car. So it has, it's a 330 CI obviously. Uh, doesn't have the auto headlights was a slick top, which is fairly rare. Unless unless someone put this in to replace a factory one, I mean, that's always possible, but I'll have to look at the VIN decoder again and see if this was originally a slick top or not. Uh, but it also it has C-Dots. 
so that's kind of a weird step. It is a warm weather car, a hot weather climate, they call it. Uh, so no heated seats, does have DSC, doesn't have Harman Kardon. So very similar spec to this O1330, um, but didn't have a sunroof. Also, it doesn't have the wood trim. Just has the silver brush stuff. Uh, it's an okay look. I like them. It's all right. I like the wood trim better. I know a lot of people don't. Now uh, let's see what we got for lights. And none of the jelly, jellyfish launchers were on, so the headlight, fog light, marker light, headlight, marker light, fog light out. So we got high beams. on both sides. Let's see on the back. So it should be because there's no indicators on. But they're out. Yep, those are working. These are working. Well, let me uh, let me get the old Tundra out of the way. Let's take this thing around the block real quick. So let me, uh, before we do take off, I'm just taking a look at the temp gauge. She's climbing, not overheating. Uh, story I used to be in a Datsuns. I had a 74 260Z and I kept buying 280ZXs, especially turbo ones, because I wanted to turbo swap it. Never actually did, but you know, I wanted to. Uh, anyway, I bought a 280ZX turbo. The guy had it for like four years. He never drove it because he couldn't find the keys. And it was a fuel injected car. You gotta have the key on so the computer turns on, so it fires injectors and whatnot. So he had it four years, never drove the thing. I got it home. The first thing I always do with, with these cars is I go through them. Uh, pull out the trash, see what's there, see what's good. Uh, sometimes I'll even clean them if they're gross. So that was the first thing I did with that 280ZX. I slid the driver's seat forward. I kid you not, the keys were right underneath the driver's seat. They were there for the four years that that guy owned that car. I put fresh gas in it. Plugs, wires, cap rotor, started up, drove like it had been driven the day before. I kid you not. So this one's just kind of funny because, again, you know, I just started to go through it. You know, it's an auction car, no keys, and guess what? Right in the door pocket. Wasn't staged at all, I promise. Um, yeah, I still hear the AC doing its thing. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get in and see how she drives. So I just pulled the knob off. I can't tell if it's an actual... BMW knob, but it is weighted. I think I'm gonna actually change it out uh, for the one in my 330Ci, because that one is the uh, ZHP style, but it's not uh, not weighted. Also looking down here, it's got a little uh, voltmeter readout, and we're at 14 volts, so that means we are charging. Also has uh, augs, and it does seem like this AC is working. That's insane. God, that clutch is so light compared to mine. It's crazy. All right, let's see. Does she want to motivate? Oh, we got a stuck caliper. No wonders I had so much trouble trying to get this thing off the trailer. So that's probably why it got parked and probably something to do with the pedal that feels like crap. I don't know, I don't want, care about scraping because this front bumper is pretty messed up. All right, so let's get her out here onto a main road. Got a turn up here, so. The mirror's even adjusted on both sides, so that's pretty crazy. Which is probably a bit old. That was very high. That I'm just used to my clutch to. It's a stage two eBay single mass flywheel conversion. Steering in this is, I'd say it's somewhere in between my car and the silver car. I think that caliper might have froze out. Might have just been some rust buildup on the rotor. 
brakes still feel like crap. Ah, that pedal's low. It's low enough you, I can't uh, hill toe and downshift. Rubble loose. Got plenty of power. Temp is right in the middle, right where it needs to be. I hear a little bit of wheel bearing noise. I don't know if that's, uh, I mean, it could be tires. She goes, holy cow, not bad. It's a shame that he's got such a crappy paint job on it. He's got a pretty good steering pull. Yeah, that's not safe. Got somebody riding the back, holding the thing down, the TV down, dude. Get a friend with a real truck. Well, I gotta say, I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. 600 bucks was the winning bid on this thing. It runs, it drives, it's got cold AC. The interiors, I mean, the seat covers are, are nice. Headliner needs to be cleaned, but it's decent. The pillars all look good. Except where they drilled screw holes through. But uh, I almost feel bad that I don't want to part this thing out, but. I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. I mean, no one's going to pay any kind of money for this thing. It's it's pretty roached. <laughs> but I think I'm going to cut this one pretty much here. And uh, in the next one, we'll go through. God, I'm still looking at this guy holding on on the back of this Tacoma. Come on, people. Anywho, I think I'm going to end this one here. Uh, I just want to kind of introduce you guys to the, the new whip, new project, and uh, I think in the next one we'll, we'll do our normal thing, we'll look everything over, get a full assessment on this thing, see how much it really needs, um, and then go from there. I mean, I already, it drives so good, except for the, it's really soft brakes, it's got some steering pull, a little bit of a slop but not too bad so i imagine there's probably you know steering suspension stuff that's worn probably all the bushings are shot um but other than that this, this thing freaking motors motors out nice so i don't have to see so i'm gonna end it here appreciate you guys watching so just a quick little bonus footage of some of the stuff i found in the car obviously tons of loose change there was a full and open corona uh date code on the back Probably won't be able to see it. Maybe if I rotate a little bit. 2023. So this is almost a uh, year old. I doubt it's any good. And bullets. Why? So many of these cars I've been picking up down here have bullets in them. Like, what are you guys doing? Is it like that crazy to go to Starbucks? Um, so the white E30, uh, which by the way, I don't know if you can tell, but um, she's gone. Uh, that had bullets in it. The black E30 that I had for parts, that had bullets in it. The red E30 had bullets in it. Now this uh, black E46. Uh, but I haven't found any in the uh, silver E46. Uh, but then again, by far, that's been the nicest vehicle that I've bought so far doing these flips. So, uh, you know, I'm not making any judgments. I, I just think it's kind of funny but uh anyway i just want to throw a little bonus footage out there uh, i did find a bunch of receipts from a couple different owners looks like someone actually did put a clutch in this about three years ago um maybe i'm just used to my heavy clutch in uh, my 330 ci and that's why this one feels so light I, it does grab but it just feels so different yeah fix that just a little kick fixed oh we got one more there we go perfect oh no this one's loose now that one's busted, so we need one clip. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can see this thing's, I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, you know, that bumper that might pop out, it needs a centerpiece in there. Uh, lights in decent shape. The body looks actually fairly straight, except for uh, the front bumper and this horrendous flat black paint job. Uh, and of course, you know, this fender, but a little dent in the hood. But all in all, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I can't 
can't believe we picked this thing up so cheap. I uh, did notice someone went in there, probably when they put new lenses on, they painted the uh, headlight surrounds on 330s. These are supposed to be silver. I'm gonna show you over here. See how these are silver color. So I'm not sure, maybe someone switched the headlights or maybe they uh, just painted them when they put new lens covers on them, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just wanna give you that little extra and uh, I said, we'll see you in the, the next one when we really start to dig into this just to get a good assessment on it, know where we stand and get come up with a plan for it. You know, is this really just gonna be parts? Uh, you guys tell me, what do you think? Um, I mean, it's got 250,000 miles on it. The paint's beat, the body's beat. It's, uh, to me, it's it's parts. Tires are shot, brakes feel like crap. Uh, I mean, all in all, it's, I mean, it's not a total shit box, but it's not far from it either. So, I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think? Should we try to save this? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, the mileage isn't what, what bothers me because as you remember, this has got 246 and this thing's fantastic. Uh, it's just, this has had a hard life. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I think for me, it's probably just parts. Um, you know, that 5C swap goes for a pretty penny. That B30 goes for good money. Uh, and then there's everything else that, that we can sell. So, I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you think? Should we save this? Should we... Uh, just kind of part it out and help fund the channel and other projects. Um, that's the way I'm leaning. Uh, so again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, you know, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below. I love getting comments from you guys and uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel out and channel grow. I'm excited to see what this year brings. So appreciate it and we'll see you next weekend.